Jessica? I'm in here. She still like this one. <laughs> you kidding me? That is my favorite tattoo. <laughs> I got that. The, the night, night we, we met. met. Best night of my life. Oh hey, don't forget we got dinner tonight. Last chance to act like normal people. I wouldn't miss it for the world. I love you always. And forever. Got your blood work back. And? And everything looks good. Growth rate is normal and your alpha feta protein came back negative. I don't know what an alpha feta betatron is, but is that a good thing? Is that a, is that a good yes, thing? Yes, yes, dear, it's a good thing. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just a little nervous. First time parents, I'm sure you're used to it. Actually, my wife is pregnant with our first. And I can tell you it is much more nerve wracking on your side of the table. Congrats. Thank you. If you guys are doing all the right things, keep taking your prenatal vitamins and stay on track with your low impact exercise. And with that, we'll see you guys next week. And please do not be shy. If you have any questions, give us a call. I'll right. do, Doc. Thanks. See you next time. Tell me I am done for the day. I have a hot date tonight. Oh, you two are so cute. <laughs> yes, we are. Dr. Matthews, I'm so sorry for running late, the bus. And the Smith, always with a graceful entry. Come on back. Uh, everything okay? Oh, yeah, sorry. Just, this place still makes me nervous. Wow, we can play some smooth jazz if you like. Then the lights, light some incense. <laughs> 39 weeks along. Everything all right? Yeah. I've been all right, just trying to get used to doing this on my own. On your own? Alan. Seems he'd rather work things out with the band. Everything okay? Oh, it's fine. Things have been a bit stressful lately, but luckily, this little guy hasn't been fussing around too much. How do you mean? Oh, he's just been mellow for the past few days. He must know Mama needs a break. Well, usually it's pretty normal they calm down right before birth. Why don't I have you lie back and we'll see how your little man is doing. Okay. Yeah, my mum was right. Don't tattoo your stomach, she said. I have a few. My mom hates them as well. Wow. Look at you, Dr. Ink. Let's see how your mellow man is doing. Honey, I'm really sorry about Alan. Are you going to be okay? Nothing lasts forever, as they say. But I picked up an extra job to pay for expenses, so. Work? Honey, you're supposed to be taking care of yourself. Well, I am, I just like being busy. Hmm. What is it, is everything okay? Uh, I can't find the fetal heartbeat. But like I said, sometimes it slows down before birth. We'll take it to the radiologist and we'll get a better look. And you can't do it here? Normally, yes, but our machine's out for repairs. Honey, it'll be okay. I'll take you over there, all right? Okay. Radiology. Yeah, hi, this is Dr. Matthews. I have a patient 39 weeks along, no fetal heartbeat. What are you bringing her in? We're on our way now. All right, we'll be ready. Thanks. Hey. Hey. Where are you going? Radiology. Just let Jessica know I'm gonna be late. Nope. Get out of here. I got it covered. I'm not fine, man. No. Remember what happened last time? She'll kill you until you're dead. True. Uh, you sure? I'm here all night anyway. Young female, no fetal heartbeat. I owe you. Yeah, you do. Thank you.
can you tell me something? Is everything okay? I'm sorry, honey. Your doctor will have to be the one to give you the results. I'll go ahead and page him right now. Oof. You okay? Not yeah. She's just busy today. Thank you. Get this for you. Yeah. Hey, where are you at? <laughs> uh, I'm just thinking about my last patient. I couldn't find the baby's heartbeat. It's um, scary. I'm scarier now, huh? Well, I think it's good that you still worry. It's what makes you a good doctor. It's what makes me love you. <laughs> and I love you always. And forever. Miss Smith, sorry to keep you waiting. Where's, where's Dr. Matthews? He had to step out tonight. But he's my... Sage. There's no easy way to say this. Your baby died in utero. There's nothing you could have done. I'm terribly sorry. I'm so sorry, Sage. Oh, Sean's gonna cover me tomorrow so I can be home when the crib's delivered. Okay? Yeah, no, my chest just feels tight. <clears throat> Maybe our little girl's not as big of a fan of Tommy's as we are. <laughs> right? Mm. Oh. Hey, what is it? Oh. Oh my God. Jessica? Oh, no. I don't know. Hey, hey. Oh, no, no, no. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> oh. Careful, careful, careful. Okay, okay, okay. Sit okay, back. Okay. Sit back. Oh my god, it really hurts. Okay. Oh, okay. Oh my god. Oh. I'm gonna call an ambulance. Just, I'm gonna call an ambulance. You're fine. You're okay. Just, just relax. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. You're gonna be okay. Just be. Right here, okay? 
So there's no one, no family we can call? You know, we've tried, but I don't think there's anybody. Dr. Matthews just called. There's something wrong with Jessica. Come on, let's get to the ER. Just hurt, and then the head's, head's blood, and I, I, I gotta get it. Hey, hey! I'm not gonna let you do that, all right? We don't have time for this. This is not a debate. It's not. No. Hey! I got this. Doctor, she's flatlining. All right, she's in VFib. Put the crash card on now. Let's go. Charging 360. Charge. Clear? Shock? All right, feel for pulses. All right, she's still in VFib. Give me Epi, one milligram IV. Luke, we have five minutes to get this baby out here. It's too late. Luke. Hi, Sage. How are you feeling? I can't sleep. I need pills or something. I can check with a night nurse and see if she can bring you something. Sure. Whatever. Is there anything else that I can get you? My baby. Honey, I know it's not my place, but if you'd like to say goodbye to your baby, arrangements can be made. You're right. It is not your place. Sweetheart, where's your daddy? Luke? Hi. Oh my God. Is that how you greet your mother? What happened to this place? It's a mess. What happened to the help I hired? I fired her. You fired her? Why? She wanted to be a live-in nanny. That's the last thing that I want. Why not? You've got the room. I don't need someone watching over me. I think you do. Look at this place. Did you come over to judge the cleanliness of my house, or did you actually need something? I came over to see my precious little granddaughter. And my son. We're fine. Oh. 
I think you're floundering at best. When's the last time you took a shower? I said we're fine. Luke, if you're not gonna help yourself, then you're forcing me to stay here and help you both. And how exactly are you gonna help, Catherine? Well, you need to go back to work. Work is the best thing to help you get out of this slump. Slump? I didn't lose my job or get kicked off a baseball team. Mom, my wife died. Keep your voice down. I lost my wife and became a father in the same hour. If that's your idea of a slump, I would hate to hear your idea of a crisis. I don't mean to make light of the situation, son. But these things will not fix themselves. So I will stay here for a little while, but you are hiring help. To you too. I couldn't sleep. We need to start looking for full-time help, son. I'm working on it. I'm just not ready yet. Well, when are you going to be ready? Because I'm running out of time. I'm on it. I'll see you later. Thanks. 
you get a new phone or something? I called you and texted you like a thousand times. Yeah, I, I saw. Yeah, I saw. I just been busy, you know? Hey, how's that little lady of yours? I can hardly wait to see her. Yeah, she's good. It's lots of poop and drool. Well, she takes after her old man then. <laughs> Who's with her now? My mother's in town. Catherine's in town. Super rarely. Looking for full-time help. Like a nanny. Like a nanny. You know, that is a great idea. Is it? I read as long as they don't take your kid, you should be good. Very funny, Sean. What? I gotta get back to work. Yeah. Hey. Let's hang out, man. I got work to catch up on. Yeah, of course. It's good to have you back. It's a great wedding. Best day of my life. Anyway, I was just uh, checking in on you. We got that consultation in an hour, so I don't know if are you up for it or. I'm fine. Just buzz me when you're ready. Smith? Dr. Matthews. How are you? Clearly, I'm fine. Would you like to sit? Going somewhere? You've got to be kidding me, right? What? You've been too busy vacationing? Drinking Mai Tais on the beach with your beautiful wife? I lost my baby that night. So I hope the date was worth it. I want to try and explain. Please. Explain to me how your perfect life got in the way of that night. Exactly. I'm sorry. Truly, I am sorry. Can we just get out of here? If you give me a chance, I would really like to explain. Please. It's an amniotic embolism. It's very rare. Dr. Matthews. I, I can't even imagine all of that within minutes. It's horrible. Hello. Sage, this is Catherine. I'm his mother. I hope you're not here to interview dressed like that. Interview? Oh, she's an old patient. Ran into each other, thought we'd have lunch. Uh, your son is a great doctor. I'm sure you're very proud. Yes, I am. Oh. Well, looks like you get to meet the star of the show. So, you were his patient. Yeah. Cancer? Oh, 
Here's my little nugget. Sage, this is Jessie. Oh my, she's adorable. Hi. <laughs> May I? Of course. <laughs> <gasps> she is so cute. Yeah, I don't let that pretty face fool you. She can be a handful. Oh, how could you be mad at this face? Because <laughs> it's easy, right? Oh, I wouldn't be mad. Not one bit. No, not me. <laughs> no. Hi. 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 Sage, you have nanny experience, right? Oh, sure. I used to work with the Dunhills, actually. Well, I am looking to hire a nanny. Luke. It would start immediately as a full-time living position. Are you serious? Are you interested? I am so interested, yes. <laughs> I know the Dunhills. I'll call them. And please tell them I said hi. Uh, I started going back to work part-time, and then in about a week or so, I'll be full-time. Dr. Matthews, I mean, Luke, I can't thank you enough. Well, you can start today, if you like. Are you serious? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. I need to go grab some things. Yes, I do. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> thank you. That worked out well. What? I already know her. She has experience and... And a shaved head. And tattoos. And look at the way she dresses. She looks like one of those kids you used to hang out with. Well, I like her. Well, I just don't think it's right. You having a young girl like that living in the house. Hey. <laughs> I will show you your room. Right this way. Okay. Hey, have you seen my keys? Oh. <laughs> Those ones over there? Well, since my work is done, for a while at least, I am off to Sedona with the ladies. Would you like me to help you with your luggage? No thanks, dear. I'm quite capable. What you could do, however, is clean that baby's crib. It's becoming ghastly. I'll see you next time. OK. I'm going to be gone most of the day. I'll have my cell on me. The diapers are in the nursery, the extra bottles in the kitchen, the uh... Yeah, I got it. Go, you're late. We have a big day ahead of us. Don't All be right. a little late. Thank you. Hey, man. It's me again. Um, yeah, just, just checking in on you. Just thinking about that time, uh, we all went camping and you got that big old mosquito bite on your face and it swelled up. And Jess and I convinced you you had West Nile. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. Hey, you, no phones on the mats. Think your fingers have had enough exercise. Anyway, uh, give me a call back. Hope you're well, man.
What's up, Doc? Wanna grab some lunch? I would if I could. Got his new patients. Thought you'd say that. Tuna on wheat, turkey on rye. Tuna. <laughs> All right. Whew. Sage, huh? Seems like things are going pretty good. Can't be all bad having a hot nanny running around the house. She's been helpful. Really? That's it, Luke? That's all you're gonna give me? Come on, man. She's looking after Jesse all the time. She's living at your house. I bet she's cooking for you now, huh? Is she cooking for you? She's cooking for you, isn't she? Is there anything else I can help you with, Sean? A little busy. Lighten up, man. Come on, I'm just messing around. You used to like to laugh, remember? Yeah, you used to be good at your job. What's that supposed to mean? Nothing, man. Don't worry about it. Is this about Jessica? You know as well as I do that we did everything that we could. Did you, though? Did you? I know you got a lot going on in your head. So I'm not gonna react the way I probably should. Enjoy the sandwich. Yes, I ordered the test just before I left. I know. Okay. Just make sure it happens. All right, talk to you then. Bye. Hey, so dinner is in the fridge and Jesse is fed, bathed, and pooped. Great. Oh, so I actually just put her down if you want to pop in and say goodnight. Nah, I don't want to wake her. I've been taking her to this baby group in the park and they would love it if you were to pop by and say hi to everyone. Uh, about what? The baby group. Yeah, hanging out with mommy groups really isn't my thing. Do they need money? Uh, no, they just thought it would be nice to meet the father. Uh, maybe if I get more time, I'll let you know. Such a hungry little monkey. <laughs> oh, good morning, Luke. Would you like some breakfast? Nope, I'm all right. So I was hoping that you would be able to put her down tonight. I think she misses her daddy. I'll do my best. Okay, here. Thanks. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> my bad. We were dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I'll try to be home early tonight. Sounds good. You are. Uh, hey, um. Your mother. She's been calling the office ten times an hour, and every time she calls, she calls the nurses the help. She's a peach. Thank you. Luke, you know I love you, but do me a favor. Would you please talk to Sean? Everybody in the office can feel the tension. Yeah. I'll get to it. That's not a request. This is James. It's just so unfair. I would have been such a good mom. Look, why was he taken from me? Hey, hey, you didn't do anything wrong. 
feel as though I did. We can't predict our future. We just try our damn just to make sure it's a good one. People like you do not deserve to suffer. People like us. Uh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> so embarrassing. Come with me. I want to show you something. myself the same questions all the time. What if I would have seen the signs? What if I could have saved her? What if? That's what I live with every day. Job. Hospitals happy. Hey, just keep it up. Talk to you later. See you the next one. Thank you. Hey, Sean. Wait a minute. Sorry, I'm just in a bit of a hurry to be a bad doctor. Stop for a second. I'm sorry. What I said was uncalled for. You don't deserve that. That really sucked, man. I love Jessica too. I mean, I know, I know. You guys are my. F you were my family. Now, the only time I ever hear anything about you is through Sage's Facebook. How do you think that feels? I can't explain to you how hard this has been for me. Can you just give me one? I don't want to do this here either, okay? Do you want to talk? Let's go have a few beers. Get real. Right now? You never stopped us before. Will you clear my schedule? So Sage has a Facebook. Are you gonna start lurking now?
look how much you've grown. You're so big. Oh, Hi, sweet. Mrs. Matthews. Sage. We just got back from a park. Uh, yeah, she smells like she just got back from a dog park. You need to change her diaper as soon as she poops, dear. I was going to change it before her nap. Well, why don't I just change it for you now? I can change her diaper, Mrs. Matthews. I hope you didn't take her to that park on Griffith Street. It's filled with homeless. I read in the paper that they found more than 12 homeless people living there. Filthy, just filthy. And you know what they do? I don't know what they do. They leave trash everywhere. Clothing, tents, needles. It's disgusting. Wow, that really is something. I just think it would be highly irresponsible for you to take her to that park. So, a surprise visit, huh? Mm-hmm. I'm redecorating my master bedroom. And I will take any excuse to visit my princess. What time is dinner? Oh, well, Luke doesn't get back till later, and I was going to make myself a salad and... Well, Sage, dear, that won't work. Okay. You have a guest. You need to go to the grocery store and get something to prepare. I just got back from the grocery store early. Well, good. That means it must not be very far away. Okay, well, I'll just give Jesse a bottle and then be on my way. It's almost four o'clock. I can manage the bottle. Oh, it's just if... I can handle it. Well, just be sure to put her down afterwards, otherwise she'll be up all night. It's good to hear you laugh again. It's good to talk about her again. How you doing? Better, I think. Everything's been, I don't know, just blurry for so long. <laughs> I wanted to be there for you, man. I shouldn't have pushed you away. Kind of selfish. I just didn't know how to talk to you. I, I saw your texts and your calls, and I see in the office. It just reminded me of Jessica. We've both been there, Luke. In that room, when it goes wrong, but when it's somebody you know. I really miss her too, man. And I really miss having you around. I'm sorry. You're a good doctor. I had it all planned out. A good girl, a good job, a good life. And when it was yanked away from me, I just, I didn't feel worthy to ever have that again. It was my fault. And now? Hey, sometimes second chances come in really weird ways. Jesse is definitely my second chance. I bet having Sage around to help is a bit of a breath of fresh air, too. <laughs> More than you know. She's so good at Jesse. She cooks a mean steak. And most importantly, she doesn't put up with Catherine's attitude. What? What? What's that? Nothing. Shut up and drink your beer. This fish is interesting. Uh, it's mahi-mahi. Mm, it's interesting. 
What time did you say Luke was coming home? I didn't. Well, you do the dishes. I'm going to get some dessert for my sweet princess. Well, actually, we don't like to feed her a lot of sweets. We. We don't like to give her a lot of sweets. I think you should let me be the grandmother. I just think... No, dear. It's not your place to think. I've seen the way you behave with this child. Excuse it's me? It's highly unprofessional. You walk around like you belong in this family. Mrs. Matthews... I know you lost your child. I talked to the Dunhills. They said they had to let you go because you were depressed and unfit for the job. No. I'll take care of her. I'm reminded every day of what I lost. Well, that baby is not yours. And you are not going to replace her mother. You... No! Pack your bags. You're done. Hey, excuse again, huh? Absolutely. But less beers next time. <laughs> All right, get home safe. Why are you here? I came to see my granddaughter. I called, but you didn't answer. Are you drunk? I'm fine. Where's Jessie? It's late. I put her to bed. And I sent Sage away. I'm sorry, you did what? I sent her away. I got tired of her finagling her way into this family. Jesse is Mom, not her... Mom, you need to stop. Luke, I did it for you and for the baby. She is not a part of this family. You didn't do it for our family. Like everything else, you did it for yourself. Oh, Luke. You want to know why I pushed you away? I mean, you got to be curious, right? You smothered me my entire life. Well, it must have worked, because look how good you turned out. Oh, my God. You are so arrogant sometimes. I turned out the way I did because of Jessica. School, my business, it was because of Jessica, not you. Well, Sage isn't Jessica. This is not your family to control anymore. Where are you going? To find Sage. Luke. Thanks for answering. I just wanted someone to talk to. That's perfect timing. You know, we just got into town for the show tomorrow. Coming, right? Sage, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I wasn't there when you, when you lost the baby. It's our baby. Yeah. Yeah, our baby. I'm sorry. It's fine. No, it's not fine. I was confused, you know? I should have done a lot better, Sage, and I'm sorry. And then to hear what that woman said to you. Thank you. Oh, Ellen, I, I don't drink anymore, not since. Oh, come on, you're with me, babe. 
Make sure nothing happens to you. Can't be scared of a drink. I was just alone for a really long time after I was. Listen, you don't have to explain that to me. And after every show, I would want to hear from you. I would get out my phone. I would look at it. I would look at your number and I would just stare at it and I'd want to hear from you. I just wouldn't do it. I guess life just you know, got in the way. You know what I mean? I mean, I think it. I think it's hard for him. It must be. And I can only imagine what it's like with his mother growing up. I mean, it must be in hell. I mean, your mother never liked me much. Alan, I... I just miss feeling you. Come on, let's have some fun tonight. Sage, hey, it's me. I don't know what my mom said to you, but please call me back. Sir, do you know where you want to go? Not yet. Yourself ten Hail Marys, you'll be all right. Hail Mary? Hail Mary. Hail Mary. Full of Hail Mary. Sorry, guys, it's that time. Who's up? Oh, oh, come on, Tommy. We need mas tequila, por favor. Not tonight, bud. Come on, senor, give us some more tequila, please. <laughs> no. Come on, buddy. You need a cab? Hey, she's fine, man. I'm kidding. Ellen. What's wrong with him? Maybe I should get going. Oh, no, come on, we're just reconnecting. It's fun. I mean, it is fun, but... I'm only here for one more night. Let's hang out. Let me just make one call. One call. Okay. Okay. Okay, one call. One. Okay. Sage. Hey, sorry for calling so late. It's no problem. Where you at? Hey, Sage. We gotta go. Tommy's kicking us out. Uh, ma'am, Tommy's. Um, Luke, I go gotta on. go. I'll call you later. I'll be right there. Are you ready? Um, actually, I, I can't. Come on. Come over and you can tell me about your horrible boss. <laughs> He's not horrible. Eh, whatever. It'll be like old times. Uh, actually, tell me, I will get that cab. Hold on. In one minute, you're all over me over there, and you... suddenly you're not gonna. Hey, pal. I think she's fine on her own. Hey, why don't you mind your business, man? I'm calling cops. Hey. Yeah, whatever. You call them. Alan, you need to let go. Yeah, you know, this is why I left you in the first place. You know that? Because you can never get a grip on what's right in front of you. I'm right in front of you, baby. I'm here. Let I'm here go, let go! Come on, let me go. Hey, 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 hey. Stop her. Luke? Luke? <laughs> what is this, the new me? Blonde hair, blue eyed, preppy ass me? Hey, you know what? You can have that little Aussie girl, you know what? Because I don't have time for this. For 
for your face for this. I don't have time for this. I don't have time for this. <laughs> Are you okay? I'm really sorry about that. It's all right. You know, Catherine, she didn't have the right to. It's okay. I think she was right. I got too comfortable. Too comfortable? When I lost my baby, I was drifting. And then you and Jesse came along and it was like a family. But it wasn't my family, it wasn't meant for me. Sage. Like, listen, I love Jesse. I love her with my whole heart, but I think I have to go. I think that's a horrible idea. Uh, what? I don't accept your resignation, ma'am. Well, I don't think that's how this works. Okay. Why don't you sleep on it? I'll take off tomorrow and watch Jesse. If you wake up in the morning and feel the same way, I won't stop you. Sleep on it. Good morning, Sage. Hi. I didn't know how you liked your coffee. Black is fine, thanks. How did you sleep? Where's Luke and Jesse? He took her out. Hmm. I was hoping to tell him that today will be my last day. Yeah. He told me this morning that that's what you were thinking. Well, there it is. Why don't you sit? I'll stand. Sit, please, dear. It's just coffee. It doesn't bite. Did you know that I hated Jessica in the beginning? It's true. Luke was a wild child when he met her. He was uh, hanging out with riffraff and hellraisers. And then he met this girl. She was nice. She was beautiful. She was educated. She gave him a reason to get serious about school, get his degree. I'm not following. I hated it. For the first time in his life, there was someone who wasn't me that made him happy. It was her that he wanted to please. Well, from the time Luke's dad died for a long time after, it was just the two of us. I held on to him really tightly. And then to see this woman take my place, I, it broke my heart. Is this going somewhere? The way I've treated you has not been very polite. And I realized last night that the reason I've treated you that way is because you remind me of her. You have become important to the two people that I care most about in my life. And uh, I was just worried that there wouldn't be room for me. I don't know what to say. Luke told me about the man you were with. I wish I'd been there. I would have let him know how we deal with things like that on the ranch. Luke and Jesse love you. And I lied about the Dunhills. That's shocking. 
they were really sorry to lose you. And they told me that you'd become a part of the family and that you used to take the boys to ride horses. Now, why didn't you put that on your resume? I don't know. Well, horses and I go together like steak and sauce. <laughs> Let me make it up to you. When's the last time you had a girl's day out? <laughs> um, never. <laughs> Go get dressed. I'm taking you with me. Today, you're mine. I'll be right there. <laughs> more and more like her every day. She would have spoiled you rotten. She was so excited when she found out we are having a girl. I was pretty scared, to be honest. Can I tell you something? I'm scared I can't live up to that. It's been pretty hard on your dad not having your mom here. much. When I am home, I've been ignoring you. I'm sorry. But I'm going to get better. It's going to be better. I promise. Boop. Squash. Mm -hmm. Oh, God. Oh, no. Let's get you something better to eat, baby girl. Whoa. I mean, wow. Thanks, I think. Your mom took me out. And now I'm going to take Jesse <laughs> and get you cleaned up. Come on, Whoa. You're staring. Sorry. <laughs> I just, you, know, you look different. I'll take that as a compliment. That is. Your mum and I had a nice talk. We found some common ground. Like what? We both love that little girl. Does this mean that? Yeah, I'm gonna stay. <laughs> okay, good. And and I'm gonna try me home more often. Yeah, good. Good. That will make us both really happy. Where are the diapers? Oh, I can show you. Oh no, not that one. She won't eat the carrots. You need the banana and split pea. All right. I 
I can't wait to feed this baby a steak. <gasps> steak. So, I was thinking. Of giving me a raise. Close. How about a night off? Oh, details. Uh... I have this banquet I go to every year for the OBGYNs, and I thought maybe if you wanted to go, we could go together. Well, I don't have anything that nice to wear, and I mean, isn't that kind of... Boring, lame, square? You nailed it. <laughs> Why don't we come up with a code word in case we get too bored? Mm -hmm. right, well, I will pick you up at your bedroom door at 8 p.m. Okay, so I have all the necessary information right here. If you need anything, please call me. You don't need to worry about us. We're gonna catch up on the Kardashians. Perfect. You know, you two better get going. You're gonna miss out on the open bar. I'm ready for my close-up. I think that's what they say. <laughs> you look incredible. Where'd you get the dress? I had some help. You're welcome. Nice to see you. How are you? Great, wonderful, having a good time? Mm, I feel out of place. Is it because you're the youngest one here by 15 years? <laughs> I'll give you the lay of the land, come on. All right. That there is Dr. Hamilton. He gets handsy after a few drinks, so be careful. Okay. This guy here, this is Dr. Pearson. The young lady he's with is his fifth wife. He met her while vacationing in the Bahamas with his fourth wife. <laughs> wow. Quite the spread of colleagues you have here. Mm-hmm. The guy there in the cool suit, that is my trusted Go. business partner. Doing shots. Oh. <laughs> that would put hair on your chest. Nice. The code word for tonight is disco dust. Disco dust? Luke Matthews, glad to see you came out of your cave. Dr. Price, I knew you wouldn't miss an open bar. That's used to the only good thing about these things. <laughs> you remember my wife? Yes, of course. Emily, nice to see you. This is Sage. G'day. It's a pleasure to meet you. We just wanted to stop and say hi. I'm glad you did. See you guys around. Didn't his wife just die? And he's already with someone? Oh, Mrs. Price, can you speak up a little bit? We couldn't quite hear you. <laughs> oh, disco dust, disco dust. Nah, don't worry about her. She likes to borrow pills from her husband's office. Oh. Mm -hmm. I need a drink. <sighs> you and me both. <laughs> Hi. I'm Sage. I'm Kelly. Oh, with an I. Oh, hi, Kelly with an I. Uh, so how long have you and Sean been together? Who? Oh, Sean. <laughs> we met like a couple months ago at the gym. Oh, at the gym. <laughs> I tried going there once and decided to take a nap. <laughs> About you and that other hot doctor. Oh, us? Um, no, nothing. I'm just his daughter's nanny. <laughs> oh, well, that's boring. Want to do shots? Uh, maybe. You know yeah. they're free, right? Like you don't even have to tip. It's the best. I can get like three, four, five. How many do you want? Sh yeah, let's. Okay. I like you, Sage. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Kelly, with an eye. So what's up with you and Kelly? Don't judge until you see her work the pull-up bar. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, the real question is, what's going on with you two? Not a thing. Come on, Matthews. This coy little game you're playing is cute, but you can't fool me. I see the way you look at her. I mean, she looks good. She smells good. She's my employee. That's it. Ugh. Ugh. You're making me sober. 
I think you have a drinking problem. Oh, there you are. Oh, I was trying to escape Kelly with an eye. Yeah, she's something. Yep. Come on. Uh, where? Come on. Uh, I can't dance. I have cinder blocks for feet. You will be great. Well, I feel like the unpopular girl at high school dancing with a quarterback. <laughs> That's silly. I played baseball. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, my whole life actually. Mom wanted a sports star. How about you? Oh, no sports for me. I was too punk for that. I was all about loud music and horses. Horses? That doesn't sound very punk. Oh, but barrel racing is. <laughs> it's like the music, controlled chaos. Hmm. Must be a lot of space to ride around in Australia. Oh, you have no idea. It is so beautiful. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey. Just having a party, people. Hey, we're thinking about getting out of here. You guys interested? Yeah. There is this really rad club down the street. Yeah? Is the club called Disco Dust? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't get it. We should get inside, check on Jessie. Oh, Michelle's with Jessie, and I'm sure she's asleep by now. I, I, I would need to, we should just get inside. No. Did I do something? What is it? I keep seeing her. Who? Jessica. If it would have been up to me, we would have lived in that apartment forever. This whole house was just her brainchild. Being in the desert made her feel like we lived in the Old West. She sounds really great. She was. When I first met her, I was always looking for the next beer run, party. She got me focused, pushed me to be a doctor. And I just assumed you loved the female anatomy. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds kind of cheesy, but I became an OB because I just love the idea of being there when a family starts. Seeing the look on a father's face when he first sees his child, or the relief a mother has when you tell her that she has a very happy, healthy baby. Nothing quite like it. Wow, Dr. Matthews. You do have a soft side under there. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, somewhere under there. Yeah. How about you? All I know about you is that you are an Aussie and you used to ride horses. Every weekend when I was a kid, my dad taught me to barrel race and I loved it so much that I started competing. Like a real cowgirl? Yes, like a real cowgirl. <laughs> the summer I sold my horses was really rough. My mom moved back here to the States and my dad stayed in Adelaide and he had to sell the horses just to get by and that was that. I buried myself in music and my horses just became a faded memory. So the cowgirl has a past. Hmm. You don't have to answer this, but uh, Alan. Girls like bad guys, I guess. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I met him back home at a show when his band was doing smaller opening acts. And at first I was just another girl to him. And then he made me feel special. Dedicated songs to me on stage, winked at me during solos. I loved it. And then I followed him to the States when he got signed. And then he changed. Oh my 
real quick. Our late nights became his late nights. He stopped sleeping on the bus and disappeared a lot. Then I got pregnant. Yeah, and he adopted the rockstar lifestyle. Yeah. Things became too real, he said. He needed to work on touring and his work. He said he'd send me money and I'd be set. Until the other night, the last I saw him or heard from him was when the bus pulled out and he headed east. Why are men so horrible? Now let's face it, we're jerks. Well, present company excluded, obviously. Mm. I left voicemails and emails and texts. And I'm about three months along and he tells me I shouldn't call him anymore. I'm upsetting his artistic flow. <laughs> Such a load. You never wanted to show up to one of his concerts and call him out. What's the point? I make a scene, it makes me look crazy and I'm still left alone. I just want to start over. Clean slate, you know? Let's get you inside. So I was thinking about what you were saying, and I wanted to see if it was true. Sage, this is Texas. Texas, this is Sage. Luke, he is beautiful. He's yours all day. A patient of mine owns the place, and he said it. You have no idea what this means to me. <laughs> see what you got. Hey. 
How's she doing? She's been in and out. You look tired. You should go home and rest. No, I need to be here. No, you should rest. If she wakes up and you look like this, I'm not gonna hear the end of it. <laughs> All right. Fine. I will go home and shower. You good? Yeah, I got her. <clears throat> Have a nice nap. Could you ring for a nurse and get us some dinner? God, what time is it? It's time for dinner. Catherine, do you know where you are? In the hospital. Do you know why? Yeah, I would. Jesse? Jesse's okay. Let me call Luke. Uh, no. me a minute. Is my purse here? <laughs> the first time I met Luke's grandmother, I was scared out of my wits. She was a formidable woman, and she carried herself so strong Luke's father and his family were ranch owners, and I was the girl from the other side of the tracks. And I started dating their son when we were both 19. Got engaged when we were 20, and married when we were 21. Do you know why pearls are so special? Why they're different from other gems? No. Well, they come from the sea, not the earth. They don't have to be cut or polished. They're born. And when they're born, they come out strong and beautiful. That's what my mother-in-law told me that night before I got married. When she gave me this ring. It's like you, Sage. You are strong and beautiful and unique. And I want you to have it. I can't accept this. I'm not the one you want to give this to. Yes, you are. You are, dear. It's just... You don't know me. Sage! Hey, you. Where are you off to? Hey, I have to go, Luke, okay? Your mum. What's say, hey, what? What'd she say now? This isn't how it's supposed to go. How, how what was? This was meant to be a job, just a job. What are you talking about? I love you. I love you too. No, no, Luke. I am in love with you. Hey. Say it. I am so in love with you.
Well, I just found the scary one. Do you want to meet your little brother? Okay, come on. And we go crashing like waves into the night. The rising tide rushing together. When I said your name, hello, baby Blink. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm glad you hired her too.